Hello everyone, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. Today I will show you how to create engraved text effect in Photoshop. So let's get started. So first of all, we need to write a text, which is going to be a text right here. So let's just write a text here, uh, make it black. So make it black here. Um, make sure to unlock the layer here. And what we'll need to do is we'll need to right click and duplicate this layer. So and put it on top of the text layer, right? Now what we'll need to do, we'll need to go right click on it. And what we'll need to do is we'll need to create a clipping mask, which is going to look like this. Then we need to select the text layer, we need to go to the blending options. And now the good stuff is happening, right? So we need to go to the level and emboss, which is right here, as you can see. And we need to go with the style, which is going to be outer bevel, um, we need to go uh, basic other bevel. Yeah. And then depth is going to be hundred percent, right? The size, right? Direction is going to be up. So it's going to be up, right? The size is going to be seven pixels, soften zero pixels, right? Uh, angle, right? What angle is going to be is minus 120. Um, and then what we can do is for the altitude, we can just say minus 32, right? Or let's say 32, right? And then um, we can uncheck the global light, right? If you have a global light option, you can just uncheck it right here. So we uncheck it. <clears throat> we also want to uncheck anti aliased right here, which is right here what we want, right? Now gloss contour, let's go over here. So um, yeah, let's let's just go here. And here what we can do is we can say rounded steps if you have right here, as you can see, we have rounded steps, click OK. OK, we have that done. Then we have highlight mode is going to be uh, basically the highlight mode is right here, it's going to be vivid light. So we need to go to vivid light. And then opacity could be could be probably 20. Yes. And then shadow mode pin light. So shadow mode would be pin light which is right here, pin light, right? And then make it 35 or 35 ish, something like that, right? Um, now, once you have this, go to inner shadow and play around with the inner shadow, right? So as you can see, um, what I would do is I would go black, right? Black color. Then what I would do is go linear light here. So go with linear light, right? And then I would play around with this uh, distance effect as well with choke as well, for example, and with size, right? So how much you want it, it depends entirely up to you. Now for me, I choose a very bad background. So you need to have a little bit brighter background for this. And then what you can do is you can go uh, drop shadow as well. And you can play around with the drop shadow as well. So I can play around with it right here, as you can see, which is right here, right? And this will basically do that effect of uh, engraved text effect, right, which we are looking for. So again, um, on, you know, I should have just went with a better background, but this is pretty much how you can do it. It's very simple, very easy. If you have any questions or comments, comment down below, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.